Good morning, students. Good morning, Mr. P. Today, we'll be following on from last week's lesson regarding mixed media contemporary art and looking at mixed media contemporary art in Australia and looking at two mixed media 2D artists from the southwest of Western Australia. Um, if everybody could please have a look at these works on the screen. These first two works are Reaper by Christopher Peace and Robin and Wren by Matt Benson Parry. Can anyone tell me what these two works have in common? Yes? They're both creepy and use bright colours. Indeed. Good points. Anybody else? They look like skulls and nice things together, eh? Absolutely. So we have two images here that both deal with death, but also something else. Rebirth, perhaps. How about if I tell you that Mr. Peace is an Indigenous Australian and Mr. Benson Parry is non-Indigenous? Does that change the way that you would read these paintings? Indigenous Australians got everything stolen from them by Captain Cook. Oh man, it was the British. They came in and killed everyone. Okay, so it's a painting about everything being stolen and then everyone getting killed. Great answer. Remind me to talk to Mrs. Harrison, the history teacher. I think we need to do some cross-curriculum priorities. What's the other painting about then? I think it's about death and rebirth too. Great question, great answer. Robin and Wren and Reaper are both paintings that refer to pan-Australian issues. Reaper is clearly about stealing of land and death on the one hand, but what about the land behind the Reaper figure? What about the land? I don't know, it's like, it doesn't, they don't really care. Fantastic insight there, fantastic. That's right, the land doesn't change. The attachment of death to the land is a filter over the top. It's a way to see the land, but the land doesn't change. Now, how about Robin and Wren? What is the artist trying to say? Oh, oh, I think it's about the two little birds. Oh, 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 oh. The two big figures are, um, are looking each way, like they're coming and going. Yeah, but I don't know. A Robin and a Wren are birds, but they're not Australian birds, are they? Some Robins and Wrens are from Australia, and also from Europe. Who else came from Europe? Early settlers? Yes, they did. And from a lot of other places, but yes, some of them brought their own myths and stories, such as the symbolism of a robin and a wren. Together they represent summer and winter. These two species are the splendid fairy wren from the southwest and the robin is the fire robin from Victoria. So both paintings are about white people coming to Australia, Europeans. Very good at everyone. You are very good at this. All of the works I'm showing you today Use imagery of a balga tree or balga resin. Can anyone tell me what balga resin is? Something to buy in balga. It is a natural resin collected from grass trees. I collected this from near my home. It has been used. Here yeah, you can have a look at it. It has been used by Noongar people for thousands of years. Anybody have any ideas what the Noongar people might have used balga resin for? Oh. Did they use the resin to make paintings? Yes, for sure. And axes? Noongar axes are called kodja. The resin is used to fix the axe head to the haft. It's very strong. Have a look at this next pair of paintings. Bro, you got me 
with the spray. Make sure you keep all of those exploration sheets. You're going to need them for your visual diaries. So I hope you all enjoyed learning about Balga Resin and about Christopher Peace and Matt Benson Parry. No relation of mine. Now, what are all your thoughts? Have you guys enjoyed this? Do you think that it's something that you could use in your own work? Yeah, I really like it. I'm totally going to use it for my big piece. It's all about being Australian. Yeah, I don't know. It's like um, this resin, it might not be for us. Do you know what I mean? What do you mean? Well, I'm, I'm not Aboriginal. And um, they've been using it for like hundreds of years and stuff. Maybe, maybe we should be asking permission before we use this stuff. Yeah? You really are very insightful. You make an extremely good point. I think that it's a complex situation, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have you read a couple of bits of writing on the subject. Don't worry, they're not that long. We'll discuss it further next lesson. Okay, everyone, pack up. Make sure you put any leftover barber resin in your container, bin the gloves and the masks, and wash your hands after you're done. Cheers, everyone, on being such a great class. Sure thing, sir.